I have to tell you, this is utterly and completely incredible. We have the most amazing team at Australia Zoo who have both built the most spectacular enclosure on planet Earth. This is just, this is the meerkat adventure area, I swear. It's just for pure fun with meerkats. Oh, good pouncing. Very good. You're very dangerous. And the meerkats are fantastic, so they're very much um, accustomed to being with people and they, they like people's company and I love how they do all their natural behavior so they're standing guard they're watching for danger they're doing everything they would it's like being in Africa it's really beautiful we've got all girls at this point and then eventually um, you know it'll be the whole bachelor thing happening right here we'll see who likes who and maybe we'll have little baby meerkats one day which would be really special We've got a really fun naming competition happening uh, on the Compare the Market website, who were really, really nice and actually sponsored the construction of this amazing enclosure. So you can go onto their website and uh, actually name these meerkats. So we're very excited. They each have very individual personalities. They're really fun. So it'll be good to have some, some nice names for all of them. Nice mob of meerkats, mob just of meerkats. for your collective noun <laughs> yep, information. Exactly. We've got ten meerkats at this point, so there's two different groups. Yep. There's a group of six and a group of four. So they'll get to know each other and then integrate together as one happy group. And the more meerkats, the merrier. So in the wild, if your numbers get down, it's harder for someone to keep an eye on the kids and someone else watch for danger. So it's really great if you've got a big group of meerkats because they, they work a lot better. And in the wild, you might have 30 or more meerkats in one mob. So um, having 10 here is a really good size group. These, these guys are a couple years old, but they'll, um, they'll live to be up and over 10 years old. So they have, they have a nice lifespan. And in captivity, of course, they'll live a little longer than they would in the wild because they, they don't have as many worries. But it's interesting, in the wild, when they hunt, they'll eat absolutely anything. So they'll eat scorpions and even venomous snakes. And they're immune to a lot of scorpion venom as well as snakes. So they can successfully tackle things bigger than they are, you know, a big snake. And, um, and be successful with it because they, the venom doesn't bother them. It is interesting to watch them hunting because they're, they're very much uh, sensitive to movement. So if anything moves, that's when they're gonna hone in on it and see if it's edible. And um, I don't know that I'd wanna go up against these guys. They're cute and they're tiny, but they've got very sharp teeth. So it, once they've all settled in, and they're all feeling really comfortable with their environment, and then people are going to get to come in just, just like us and have oh, a really? meerkat experience. So you'll be able to have you know, your little dish of, of um, snacks for them, and they'll crawl all over you, and it's really a special experience. And that's, that's the idea here at Australia Zoo, is to get you that really hands-on experience with wildlife, because it's good for them, because they're having a good day, new people, interesting things, and then it's good for us because you really reconnect with nature and wildlife that way. So when you can, you know, hold and see and experience and love something, you really get them into your heart. And that's the whole idea.